Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I'm going to show you my Daily Grace Company haul. I want to show you the different Bible studies and verse cards and things that I got. And I also ordered a new Bible, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm going to start with the Bible. Um, I actually did not get this one from the Daily Grace Company. This one is a She Reads Truth Bible. It's navy blue. It's leather. This is the box that it come in. So on the She Reads Truth website, they were all sold out of their Bibles, and I happened to find this one on Amazon. So I will link their website, so She Reads Truth website down below, but I'll also link this specific Bible that I picked up on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. All right, so it is a Christian Standard Bible. It's by She Reads Truth, and it is indexed, and it has that navy leather cover on it. So I love it. There's a couple of reasons why I chose this Bible specifically. My main reason is because it's floppy. <laughs> I love a Bible that no matter where you're at in it, you open it up and it will just lay there. Like you don't have to worry about stuff like flipping over on you. You don't have to try to hold the pages down. That's something that's really, really important to me in a Bible. My only downside to this Bible is how thin the pages are. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can actually see the wording on the other side, which I get it. Most Bibles, they do have really, really thin pages. And I also understand that if you have a thicker, like if your pages are thicker, your Bible is going to be way thicker, which I don't mind. I don't care. I would rather have a really thick Bible that has a little bit thicker pages than the thin ones, but that's just personal preference. Now, another reason why I chose this Bible was because... Um, for, well, it's got a lot of information here in the front, which is really cool. It says how to read the Bible. Um, and then there's also this. So there's different features a part of this Bible. It's got key verses. So you can see that some of these pages here will have key verses from that book. There's maps inside of here, which is really, really cool. So like here's one of the maps. Inside of here, there's also Bible studies that you can do. So this will, like right here, you will get through the book of the Second Kings in three weeks. So you could go through and follow this Bible study if you wanted to. So there's that, which they call it reading plans. There's devotionals, which I really, really love. It's just kind of like a fun little way to dive deeper. So here's an example of one of the devotionals in there. I really do like this one. There's different charts. It says the charts provided illustrate how different passages of the Bible connect and relate to one another, highlighting themes of a particular book and the whole canon of scripture. So I really do like that. And there's also timelines inside of here. So I, that's why I chose this Bible. One is that it's, it's floppy and um, it'll stay open. I'm not a big fan, like I said, of like the harder backing on Bibles. And then also I love the devotionals that are in here like this one. Just a, just a fun way to kind of dive a little bit deeper and get you thinking. And then I also love that each chapter has its own reading plan, like I showed you earlier. So, like, here we go. So this would be Psalms. And it has a reading plan for Psalms. And you could get through it in 15 weeks. So that's the first thing that I ordered was the Bible. And then now let's take a look at the stuff I got from the Daily Grace Company. Ordered a bunch of verse card sets and prayer cards, and I've actually opened up most of them and I've already been checking them out. And I'm going to kind of quickly go through these ones. It's more so the Bible studies that I really want to dive into. The first thing that I got are these sticky notes. I thought these were super cute. It says, love this. You have amen. Remember and pray this. And I thought these would be nice to just, one, to have setting on my desk, or two, um, I use a planner for my Bible studies. And I thought these sticky notes would be awesome. Like if I have a prayer and I want to write that prayer out and then stick it inside of my planner. So I got these sticky notes. This one is called, I'm actually have to look at my <laughs> packing slip here to see what they're called. Um, 31 days of prayers for kids. So actually it says it right there. Good grief. Okay. <laughs> Day one is a prayer for your family. You flip it over. It's got a passage that you can read and then a prayer on it. Day two is for parents, day three is for neighbors, four is friends, leaders, local church. I just thought this would be something fun for me and my son to sit down and do something um, quick and kind of easy. Sometimes getting him to sit down and do a Bible study with us, like we've been doing pretty good about every night at dinner. We have That's when we do our Bible study because we're all, we're all already sitting down, like it's a great time to do it. But sometimes he is so full of energy, he's like a little energizer bunny just running around, 
that I thought this might be good for those days. Or to even do a little challenge with my son. Like, hey, can we do these prayer cards for 31 days straight and not miss it? And, and kind of make it more of a consistent thing that we're doing every single day. So there's the first, or the second thing actually. And I got these ones. These are prayers for marriage. I thought these were awesome. Something quick to go to. On the front here, it has a passage. And then when you flip it over, there's a prayer on the back of it. And there's quite a few of them. And they have a ton of verse card sets. I think these are awesome to have. You can stick them in your Bible. You can put them beside your bed. You can take them with you in your purse. Stick them in your planner. Like it, leave them on your desk. Like it doesn't really matter. Put them in your kitchen. But I just love these little verse card sets. The next one is prayers for anxiety. And these are most definitely going beside my bed. I actually have a Bible study that I got from the Daily Grace Company last year that's on anxiety and it stays beside my bed as well. But I really like these because if you guys have anxiety, you know sometimes um, it's really hard to get out of your own head with it. And to sit down and like get on Google and, and or try to search inside of the Bible and try to find scriptures, sometimes that's a little bit overwhelming and it takes a little too long and you need something quick. Something quick to grab um, to help you get out of that anxiety and, and get out of that like vicious cycle of it. Cause I've had my anxiety sometimes turn into severe panic attacks. Uh, so I love these little verse cards. These are going to set on the side of my bed. So they have a prayer on the front and then there's a scripture on the back. So there's the prayers for anxiety. This one is, hold on just a second. These two here are the same. Let me move those out of the way. So they are called Worship from Eden to Eternity. This one is for men and this one's for women. They have the same scriptures on there. The only difference, as you can see, is the way that they design them. So this was week one. Here's week two. Week three. Like they're both, like this one's both is Psalm 145 21. Both of these are John. Both of these are Revelation, and they're five weeks, and I thought these would be cool. I got my husband um, a Bible study over here, and he can stick those in there. He can stick them in his truck, beside his bed, whatever he wants to do. Same thing with these ones. So those are those two verse card sets. And then I got this one. This one is called Mercy in the Storm verse card set. And again, it's like the other ones, they just have different verses on them. So there's that card set, and that's all of the verse card sets and prayer sets that I got. And now we will look into the Bible studies. The first one here, this one is the character of God. So it's a study of who God is. And this one is one of the smaller size Bible studies. We open it up. I love this page here. It says God is, and then you have all of these characteristics of God. We open it up days one and two. So it says God is holy. Over here you have day one it's got revelation it's got a little passage here that you can read and then it's got questions that you can answer and that's how um like all of their bible studies are and i really do love their bible studies i've been getting stuff from the daily grace company for a couple of years now and i i mean i truly do love them i definitely recommend them so god is delightful god is merciful god is gracious i love the images that they do in here god is just God is all powerful. And th this one's kind of like more fun. So like you've got pictures of kids, of swings and stuff in here. This is like a fun um, little layout. So I thought this would be cool to do with my kid as well. God is patient. So there's that one, the character of God. Next up is these daily truth studies. This one is for men. This one is for women. So I got this one for my husband. This one's mine. It's scripture to meditate on in every circumstance. And now these are the same. The only difference is going to be the images and kind of the way that it's laid out. Like um, the one for men is more like, I don't know, manly stuff. <laughs> I don't really know how to put it. Like there's not like florals and um, stuff like that inside of here. It's just kind of laid out a little bit differently as far as that goes. But if you look, they are the same. They do have the same topic. So you can see like the fonts are different. The images are a little bit different. So there's the topics in this Bible study. And then when you go through the study, like this first one is on anxiety and worry. So it's got a little passage here that you read. You flip it over and it's got scriptures that you can read. Day two is on anger. You have jealousy and contentment. 
unloved fear so depending on what you've got going on this one is a great one just to have to reference if you have anxiety if you're feeling unloved if you have anger something quick to reference so there's both of those all right the next bible study is this one it says search the word so knowing and loving god through intentional bible study i know it's kind of hard to read because it's in that gold foiling but I really love this one because I need to be more intentional when I'm doing my Bible studies. I've gotten into a habit of just kind of being like, I, just, I need to do my Bible study. So then I just quickly do it and I'm not super intentional about it. So I thought this would be a great place to start to get like a fresh perspective to kind of have a, a reset with everything and become more intentional. And I've done day one and I really do like it so far. We open this up the first day. It talks about why the Bible is important. You've got some scriptures up here to read. It's got a little passage that you read. And I just like to highlight in here things that kind of stand out to me. And then when you flip it over, it's got questions. So for each day, there is um, passages to read and there is questions. I also like this one because here you have summary of the Old Testament. You have a summary of the New Testament. And I honestly think if you are new to Bible studies, this is a good one to start. It helps you understand the importance of being intentional with your Bible studies. It's got a lot of useful information in here, helpful references and resources. It helps you understand the language, structure, comprehension. I mean, just so many good things inside of here. It's got worksheet guidance, God and man, life application, application questions. So like I said, I think this is, is a great place to start if you're a beginner, but also even if you're not a beginner, if you've kind of gotten like me and you've gotten to the habit of quickly going through your Bible studies and just kind of trying to get it done, like you're, you've got a lot going on and it's like, go, 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 go. And you want to be more intentional. You want to sit down and really, really connect with God. I think this is a really good one to do. So search the word. That is that Bible study. Next up is the Lord's Prayer. This one's got that really pretty gold foiling on it too. This one is a study in Matthew chapter 6. So when you open it up in every one of theirs, they have a table of contents that will tell you what you're reading. So you can always reference that. You've got your introduction. So week one, day one. Again, it's got your questions that it asks that you answer. My only complaint, and it's not even really a complaint, it's just something little, is the paper in here. So for this one, it's like silky... I don't know really how to explain it. I don't know what it's called, but it's, um, you have to be careful what pins that you use inside of here to make sure they don't smear. I do use, whenever I'm highlighting, I use a Sharpie S note and I've never had a problem with these ones smearing. Um, but I do have to be cautious with pins. Now with this one, the search the word one, this is actual just regular paper. And I'm hoping that maybe the Daily Grace Company will move more towards having the regular paper inside of their Bible studies. Um, if not, it's not a deal breaker to me because like I said, I love their Bible studies so much that I really, it's not that big of a deal. But just be cautious if you get them with what kind of pen that you're using. I don't recommend a gel one. If you do use a gel one, make sure you let it dry before you like flip the page or anything like that because you don't want it to smear everywhere. Or if you don't want to write in your Bible studies, you don't have to. Like you could take these questions and write them in a, if you have like a binder or a planner or whatever, you could always answer the question somewhere else and you could save this and come back to it whenever you wanted to. But there's that one, the Lord's Prayer. All right, the next one that I got is Preaching the Gospel to Yourself. This one says, how the gospel transforms everyday life. And I thought this would be a really, really good one to have. When we open it up, you've got your introduction here. There's a table of contents. And then it starts to go through the gospel and kind of why it's important. So what is the gospel? You've got your questions. There's also um, scriptures that you can read. Why you need the gospel. The gospel and the glory of God. The gospel for goals and decisions for spiritual health. This one's a memory verse. And then there's a weekly reflection. And I, oh, actually, I think a lot of the Bible studies do at the end of the week, like here's this one. This was the Lord's Prayer. This is weekly reflection. Reflection. So you got week two, review all the passages from the week, and then you answer those questions. Same thing with this one. You've got your weekly reflection, and then it goes into the next week. So I thought this would be a really good one to have too. The gospel for physical health, for marriage and singleness, parenthood and discipleship, seasons of waiting, another uh, memory verse, 
hospitality. So there's that one. Now this one I got for my husband. It's Come and See. So it's a study of the Gospel of John. Let me open it up. You've got study suggestions up here. This is really, really good to read. It's got information and helpful tips and stuff to help you get the most out of your Bible study. Here's the table of contents. Helpful tips for scripture memorization. You've got a map on here. Day one, week one, that you may believe. It's got scriptures over here. It's got their passage. And then again, same thing with the questions. I doubt my husband will write in this. He might, but um, I know he'll go through it and he'll read it and stuff. He just probably won't um, actually write his answers to the questions down. I could see him just answering them in his head. <laughs> but there's that one. Come and see. It's a study of the Gospel of John. And last but certainly not least, I got a study on James. This one is The Steadfast Life. Guys, I really do love their Bible studies. Like, I'm not, they're not sponsoring this. I'm not trying to sell you on it or anything. I just really do like it, and I wanted to share which Bible studies that I got. Um, I really do like their questions, too, because they help you dive deeper with your Bible study and the lessons that you're learning, and they point to different scriptures and make you just kind of think a little bit deeper on things. So I do... I do recommend the Daily Grace Company's Bible studies. I do love them. And also, before I forget, I actually ordered all of these during their warehouse sale. So the Daily Grace Company will have warehouse sales where everything's like super duper cheap. Like these Bible studies I paid five bucks for, and normally they're like 20. So what I have been doing is I wait until they have a warehouse sale, and then I hop on there and I kind of stock up on some Bible studies. And I don't know if they have it, like I don't know their schedule if it's like, multiple times a year or once a year. I'm thinking last year they had it a few times. And I don't know if it's like in preparation for new stuff to come out, new Bible studies or whatever. So like they're trying to get rid of the older ones so they can bring the new ones out. Either way, I love their warehouse sales and that's whenever I stock up on stuff. But if you're watching this and they don't have a current warehouse sale going on, I do recommend getting just like a couple of Bible studies to have. It's still worth the full price. Like I've paid full price in the past until I learned about their warehouse sales. It's definitely worth it. So maybe go ahead and get just a couple of Bible studies and then um, keep checking back on their website or sign up for their emails and then they'll let you know whenever they're having a warehouse sale. And then you can kind of stock up on Bible studies and you can have yourself set. Like I'll be set for with these ones, honestly, probably the rest of 2021. Now, um, they do have like highlighters and stuff like that that you can get. They have journals. They have all kinds of different things on there. So I will link their website down below. You guys can go check them out. And the only thing I didn't get from the Daily Grace Company was the Bible. That one I got from Amazon. It's um, a She Reads Truth Bible. And I ordered it from Amazon, like I said, because they were sold out on their website. But you can check them out too. I will link them down below in the description box. So that, my friends, is my daily grace haul and all my Bible studies and my Bible that I picked up. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If there's a Bible study that you have done through the Daily Grace Company and you absolutely loved it, please drop it down below in the comments. I would love to see and get some more ideas for new ones. Even though I'll be set for a while, I can still start making a list of Bible studies that you guys recommend. I would love that so, so much. And if you guys want me to, once I finish a Bible study, if you guys want me to do a review of it, let me know because I'll be more than happy to do that as well. And I was also thinking about doing a Bible study with you guys, like my step-by-step -step process showing you guys how I do it. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing as well. All right, my friends, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.